Well, Mont Saint-Jean has met and surpassed any expectation we had for it. It's been absolutely outstanding, and it would be great to come back here and do more work next year. But if that wasn't enough, we're also working at Fishermont, which is a farm way out on the left flank of the Allied line. And it's at the point where the Prussians first arrived, kind of mid-afternoon on the day of the battle. And the interesting thing about Fishermont, which again is one of these courtyarded farms with buildings creating almost a kind of fortress effect, is that it's no longer there. It suffered a catastrophic fire in the 1960s and was demolished. And other than a well and a walled garden, the rest is just this glade in a wood. It's, it's idyllic, I love it. But nonetheless, the challenge of putting together one of the really important sites on the battlefield from nothing but the archaeology is, is something we couldn't resist. And so we've had several teams down there for the past two weeks and they've come up with amazing discoveries. And Sam's team have been excavating a cellar that was beneath one of the buildings. Um, Alistair's team have been looking for a tower that stood in the corner. And Hilda's team have been looking at the courtyard area itself. They've done loads of work. They've now got to unfortunately backfill all of that work, but we will definitely be back at Fishermont next year. Hugamoy is now an old friend. We've been there from the very beginning and it's been a bit of a wrench, I guess, to move away from there because it was our headquarters. But work has continued and Emily and Phil have been working very hard there with their teams over the last couple of weeks. And I suppose the finds of note are Emily shedding important new light on the buildings that even after four years we were still looking for. And I was very excited with Phil's trench. He's near the north gate. Those gates were famously closed during the battle. And that story has really been dominated by the Coldstream Guards. But this week, Phil came in one day with great excitement and showed me a couple of buttons, and they were Scots Guards buttons. And he's found several others since. He's just pulling buttons left, right, and center out of the, the ruins of that barn next to the gate. So that is truly exciting. Oh, that's amazing. Isn't it? We know from the history books that the Scots Guards took part in the closing of the gates, but regimental histories and rivalries have been dominated by the coal streamers. So to actually have physical evidence that the Scots Guards were there as well is, to my mind, a, a huge box ticked and uh, a credit to the archaeology that we're doing.